Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll Can I move? If I'm doing a scene, am I getting static? Let's find out. There's just no way. I'm just so curious right now, right? I don't know if like, if it's picking up all of this movement, cause I'm up here, I am moving. Like if I'm making a movie, hey Cindy, you calm down, all right? You watch your mouth. You don't talk to me like that. Well, hey. I do what I want. I do what I want. You don't tell me what to do. All right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is somebody there? Dad, I'm here. Okay, son. I can hear you. Stay put, all right? We don't know what's going on out there. What? Get down! <laughs> There's stuff out there. There's stuff out there. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker and today I'm just testing some sound quality for our new film Rhino King that we're going to start shooting in July. Um, I went through a few different mics. One thing that I don't want to do is have to connect a shotgun mic and then run it through the preamps and have cables lying around. I want to be as slim and, and, and as agile as possible. So I first purchased the Harlan uh, Lark M2s. I was like, man, this is this is gonna be money. This is perfect. Unfortunately, with some of the footage and audio that you've seen in this video, it picked up static when I was moving around and everything like that. And I thought that being that it was wireless, that that wouldn't happen. So I went ahead and bought the Rode Wireless Pro and I've used the lav mics to capture all the audio that you're hearing now and do all of the fake acting that you saw earlier. One of the biggest things about this setup that I really do like are the pro features and the fact that you can have your main audio set to a certain level and then it'll automatically do a negative 10 dB safety track which it'll record in the event that your voice kind of goes too high, right? You have that backup track. And then on top of that, because of that 32-bit float, I can go into the computer, drag, uh, get the files from the receiver, and you never have to worry about a peaking. And that internal recording, the quality is actually better than what you're hearing right now that's going straight to the camera, right? So that internal recording is what I'll use, that 32-bit is what I'll actually use for the film. But I wanted to really kind of test it and, and put it through what I think uh, people would use this system for. Because a lot of the times, you know, if you're running and you're hitting a bag and you're doing all these action shots, a lot of the times you're gonna have to ADR that. There's just no way around it because it's just too much movement. But if I'm talking like this and I'm moving, I'm just doing casual talking, right? Because in a scene, and if I'm, if I'm talking to the actor or the actress and we're going back and forth, you're gonna have natural movement, you're gonna, you're gonna walk, you're gonna move, and it's like, okay, how does it capture that sound? When it's hidden under the shirt, how does it capture that sound? Is it professional quality? Is it usable? Can I use it uh, the way I want to without, you know, we're not talking about without editing, but eventually when it gets to post, you know, I like to brighten it up and make the sound a little warmer, but how does this sound straight out of the camera? So I think the Rode Wireless Pro, if you're going to go and shoot your next short film, your next indie film, your next feature film, you know, go for the Rode Wireless Pro because of those features, the two simple features. The 32-bit flow is gonna save you every time, especially if somebody's yelling like this, right? You're gonna be able to pull that down in post and then having that negative 10 dB and then with the auto gain feature. So right now I have the auto gain and it should just make it to where it's as leveled as possible and then you don't have to go in post and have to try and manipulate everything. I used to have to go word by word to try and match the levels of every actor and actress throughout the entire film so you have a consistent uh, volume throughout the film. So would I recommend the Rode Wireless Pro for your next project? Absolutely.